Now let's take a look at your client's experience when doing a home session. Your client logs into the app on the tablet using the username you set up for them, and either their initial password, if it's the first time, or their permanent password, if not. They are prompted to turn on the headset, and the app shows when the Bluetooth connection is established and the headset is connected. The client is then shown the main games screen. The client can choose which training they want to do for that session. There are five games and two YouTube-based training options, video and audio. In the video training, the sound stays on all the time, while the feedback is the screen brightness. The audio training can be used for alpha or eyes closed training as the screen stays on all the time and the audio fades out with the negative feedback. Once the client chooses a game, they are shown the instructions. For instance, in Runner, positive feedback is when your alien runs faster than your opponent. To move past this screen, just click Go to Game. Your client will then need to pass a signal quality check screen. If the signal is good, they will be taken right to the game. If there is a problem with the signal, they are shown which electrode is the problem and given tips to improve the signal quality in an easy to use interface. It's important to note that after every headset adjustment, the trainee needs to wait a minute or two without touching the headset in order to see if the signal improves. This signal quality check is extremely important as it ensures that your clients are receiving good, clear feedback based on their EEG signals. If your client is online doing a training, you can access the dashboard and view their session in real time. For instance, if you receive an email that your client has started a session, you can log into the dashboard and monitor it live. From the side menu, click Manage Sessions, Currently Running Sessions. On this screen, you can monitor your client's progress during their home session in real time. On the left, you can see the quality of the signal. A green electrode is giving a good signal, and a red electrode is giving a poor one. At the top of the screen, you can see the headset battery, active and reference channels, and protocol. You can also choose to toggle the auto thresholds off and set the thresholds manually. On the bottom of your screen, you can see the frequencies being trained and change the thresholds manually if you so desire. For instance, here we have a theta and low beta protocol and you can see the thresholds and the graphs for each frequency. You can even pause or restart the round remotely. This allows you to be as involved as you wish to be with your client's training. You can access the live session menu from any computer at any time that your client is training. To monitor your client's progress after they've completed a session at home, you can go to the client screen. Click on the client whose progress you want to monitor. Here you can see some basic information about your client. You can also generate a new temporary password by clicking Generate New Temporary Password. In the timeline screen, you can see when they've done each session, the protocol, and the number of rounds and length of time of the session. To get some more information, you can access the Analysis tab. You can get some more information about the specific session by double-clicking on the session. Here you can see the average amplitude and average threshold for each frequency trained in both values and graph form. You can also see some basic information such as active, and reference channel, protocol done, and percentage of noise for the session. You can get more information about each specific round by entering the analysis. Here you can see the information for this specific round, including average amplitude and average threshold for each frequency trained, and the change in frequencies over time, minute by minute. We also give you a fast Fourier transform analysis. In this way, you can conveniently track your client's progress over time throughout their training program.